Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to the Traveling Blossom Tarot where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. If you're returning, I'm so happy to have you here. If it's your first time, I'm happy to have you here too. But before we dive into the cards and see what the energy holds for you, I just want to direct your attention over to the community tab where you can enter my monthly drawing. I give away one free 30 minute live Zoom tarot reading um, or I can actually record it for you and send you a link if that is your preference. That way you can watch it over and over and over again if you if you like. Okay, and then last but not least, every Monday I go live over on my Facebook page at 11 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. I keep wanting to say Alaska Standard Time because if you follow my channel, you know that Master and I just moved back home to West Virginia. This is our roots. <laughs> we are home. So, uh, yeah, so I keep wanting to mess that up, but it is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that time is subject to change because of the relocation, but I will keep you um, abreast on that, okay? All right, so let's dive into the cards, Sagittarius, and see what they have in store for you. If you are Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury, there may be something in this message for you. Um, I always say do check out your Mercury sign. It's so important. It's the way we communicate and engage with one another. So it's vitally important to our everyday life, our relationships, everything. So if you're a Sag Mercury, might be something here for you today. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother, Father, Ancestors, and Loved Ones. This is for Sagittarius. Highest energies, please. Highest energies for Sagittarius. Highest energies for Sagittarius, please. I hope you are doing well, Sag. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Overarching your reading today. We have to the sea, number seven. It's time to make a move. Time to make a decision and move forward. This is chariot energy. Uh, home. You may be relocating, going back home, or you may be coming back home within yourself sometimes that happens we kind of lose ourselves along the the life you know the path and and we need to like refine or come back to ourselves so however it works for you but you have the chariot energy so it's time to move forward this is fast movement it's it's making a decision and going for it it's taking a risk facing fears and just going she's to the sea she's leaving something behind here so you guys could be moving forward and leaving something behind. I want you to note her head is down. So she is leaving something behind that brought her possibly some pain. Um, something even maybe that she just doesn't want to leave behind. But I do see that and she and see the binoculars. Now she's not looking back. She's looking down. So she's unsure of the future. She doesn't know what's going to happen but she's still moving forward so i feel like spirit is saying no matter what the future is never you know the future is subject to change so always stay in the present and just keep moving forward to the sea that's a lot of emotional energy it could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio um so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out all the cards and then we will interpret them and clarify them with the Rider Waite Tarot. Sagittarius, please. Right here at the heart of the matter. At the heart of the matter for Sag. Heart of the matter. I am sorry I'm late with your reading, Sagittarius. I was working on it and I ran out of space on my computer and I kept trying to splice it together and it just wasn't working. So when that happens, I just delete it. I start over because I feel like that spirit saying, you know, we're not ready for that message yet or something has shifted, something has changed. Could be you're moving on. Um, I just kind of get that feeling, you know, so I just delete it. So I'm a little bit late. I had a baseball game yesterday. I know you probably don't really care. You came here for a tarot reading, but we're chatting as we pull the cards. So right here at the heart of the matter, you have the Page of Swords. This is brand new information. Um, now, the page is an adolescent. So this is a, this is, um, this is that uncertainty. 
is what I see. Okay, with the uh, with the two of the sea and her head down, right? Not looking back, not looking forward, just uncertainty, uncertain of the unknown. And with the page, there's that curiosity that, you know, um, I'm just going to go for it. There's that, that risk taker. And I feel like that is what Spirit is saying with you here today, is you are at this stage in your life where you are taking a mighty risk, I'm hearing. A mighty risk, but I feel like it's going to pay off. I feel like it's going to pay off as long as you keep your... Um, Head to the grind, I'm hearing. I really don't talk like that, so <laughs> head to the grind. So if you keep grinding, you keep moving forward, you keep going, you're going to do okay. I really feel that. Now the Page of Swords, this is also communication. This is, um, this could be immature communication. This could, uh, you know, he is an adoles adolescent, so this could be um, the immature communication that you're leaving behind. Moving forward, though, this is new information. So some new information may have come to you that ultimately helped you reach the decision to leave behind whatever it is you left behind and to start moving forward. Okay, so let's get in here. Let's look at these cards. Let's clarify and let's see what's going on. So yes, at the heart of the matter, you have the Page of Swords. So I feel like maybe with what you've left behind and to the to the sea and that, that you may um, you may be hoping, you may be holding on to hope that there there will be some communication come through, possibly from someone that you left behind. I feel like uh, that energy is very very strong here, Sag. You're you see, she is leaving something behind. She's got the binoculars facing backwards so there's something she's leaving behind something that she might peek at from time to time now this could even be someone peeking at you somebody watching over you someone keeping tabs something like that it could be that with that peeking back right okay um let's go ahead and clarify this page of swords i feel like you really want to um you may want communication or the other person. Uh, you no, know, I feel like it's you. It's you, Sag. I really feel like that. And if that doesn't resonate for you, that's okay. If it doesn't resonate, leave it behind. It's not going to always fit. It's no problem. I do. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I feel like that you really want to have some communication. Um, I feel like you want some balance. You want some joy back in your life. You, even though you know that um, possibly what you left behind is not good for you, there's still some sort of balance you're trying to find. You're trying to find your happiness, right? And you may want that conversation. You may, you know, you may have questions that haven't been answered or something like that, and it's really on your mind, and you feel like that information might balance you out and bring you some joy to help you, you know, move forward, or something to help give you reasons to um, get out and about. Um, you know, the Three of Cups, this is a celebration. They're hanging out together. They're hanging out with friends. I feel like Spirit is saying, Sad, you're going through a lot right now. But the best thing for you is to come into balance with your friends. Hang out with people that truly love you and that you truly love and that enjoy your company as well as you enjoying theirs. So I feel like Spirit is saying, um, get out, communicate with others, mingle, have a good time. You're definitely leaving something behind that's got some feelings there that are not, well, they're sorrowful. They're not very happy. And I feel like Spirit is saying, <clears throat> get out there, communicate, talk with others, meet other people, engage in life, communicate. Start, if you get, you know, you get, um, you get a you get a job offer you get a romantic date offer you get asked out for dinner or coffee or something go for it go go ahead you don't have to you know um tie the knot 
right? You don't have to tie the knot. You don't have to sign a contract. You don't have to do any of that. You can just get out there and have some fun. Balance out your life. You've had a lot of grief. I feel there is a lot of grief here. There's a lot of sadness and you're really looking for that happiness. And in order for you to do that, you have to do something new. You have to, a new opportunity. You have to do something new. You have to get out there and start communicating, start engaging in life, start having fun, hang out with people, create some friendships, make some memories, right? Make some memories, do, do whatever you can. Now, um, how is spirit helping you? Well, spirit is helping you by filling your cup, bringing in emotional happiness for you. So if you can um, get out there and, you know, enjoy your life and start to do that, spirit is going to help you. They're going to bring in the king of cups. They're going to bring in a lot of emotional stability. They're um, helping you um, increase your intuitive powers. They're helping you uh, come to terms with things. This says a person who is distant can help you greatly accept their advice. They're giving you understanding, emotional understanding, possibly helping you understand why you had to go through so much pain and suffering, right? So much sorrow. Excuse me. That is Libra Scorpio energy. You have a lot of water energy here, Sag, so you could be dealing with a water sign. Clarify the King of Cups, please. Thank you. Yes, yes, you have a brand new opportunity. Spirit is bringing a brand new opportunity, something more solid, bringing you understanding so that when you move forward, you know, you know um, what's right for you, what's not right for you. They're giving you this opportunity to build something new for yourself, to start over, to have a happier life, to find that happiness. This is a solid opportunity. It's the page of um, pinnacles. So this is a resourceful energy. This is someone resourceful. Maybe that, that friend that needs to come in that has that resourceful advice to help you move forward, to help you grow, to help you establish yourself again. I feel like this is reestablishing yourself, Sag. You're getting reestablished, reacquainted with life is what I'm hearing, reacquainted with life. Now, what is the block? The block is you've lost your happiness. We see that right here at the heart of the matter. You've lost your happiness. You've lost your vitality. You've lost your sunshine, your will to go on, your will to move forward, to live, to be happy, to allow good things in your life. I don't know what you've been through, Sag, but it feels really, really difficult. It feels really hard. And I know how hard it can be when you've gone through so much suffering, so much pain, to find that happy place again. It is so hard. But I swear to you, you can find it and you deserve it. You deserve your happiness. So please don't keep blocking it out. Follow Spirit's advice. Get out there and mingle. Make some friends. Start some new beginnings. Get some new conversations going. Talk more positively. Leave the past behind. Don't peek back. Don't peek back. It was a stepping stone to get you here. Now you're on the path where you're stepping up right? So don't look back. Go after your happiness. This is good fortune. You've lost your happy, your vitality, your um, drive for life, right? Yeah, you lost it. Something broke you so hard and I'm feeling strong Scorpio energy as I hold this. Sad, you may really be dealing with the Scorp. But um, something really hurt you. It may have been a Scorpio. They really did a number on you, really stomped on your heart, your mind, your emotions, your soul, your spirit. And spirit is saying, oh no, I feel so much pain for you right now. My heart bleeds for you. Seriously, Sag, it is, I, w I really want you to find you're happy again. You deserve it. You deserve it. You definitely lost your happy. You've been, you've been going through this for a long time, too. With this death card coming out, this tells me you've been experiencing this for quite some time. Many years, possibly. You've been suffering. You've been living, possibly dwelling here. Dwelling in the sorrow. Dwelling in the grief. 
Dwelling in the past. Block in the sun. The shadows of your broken heart are blo blocking the sun. Ooh, spirit, I like that. Whew. Okay. The release. You've got to let go of these old contracts. You've got to release them. Forgive them, let them go. And I know how hard it is to forgive, but you have to do it for you. You have to do it for you, Sag, so you can find your happiness, so you can find your vitality in your life again, so you can start anew and find that, that you know, that fire that lives inside of you. You have such fire. It's amazing. I love you guys. You, yes, to release, move forward, release the contracts, the lover's card, Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But release those contracts. Free yourself from those contracts by forgiving and, and releasing them. Release them in blessing. Release them with um, hope and faith. I, I release you in goodwill. I release you in goodwill. I forgive you for XYZ. I forgive you. Forgiveness does not mean acceptance. Forgiveness does not mean that you have to allow these people or places or whatever back in your life. It doesn't mean that. It means that it's allowing you to free up space and energy within your heart, your spirit, your soul, your mind, so that you can bring in beautiful, happy, balanced, harmonious energy, joy. Okay. So releasing those contracts. Let's go ahead and clarify this lover's card, please. Clarify the lovers. Thank you. Yeah. Releasing the burden of these contracts. These contracts are very hard on you. Look at that. You carry a heavy weight. You've got to release this. These are too heavy for you, Sag. You've got to release these contracts. Let them go. Stop holding on. The burden is over. Ten of, ten of wands... The burden is too heavy. It's time to let it go. Tens are about endings. It's time to let it go. Drop the load. Drop the load. Drop the contracts. Okay, moving forward. Moving forward. Spirit is saying it's your call. Judgment. It's your call. It's your life. You can live it dwelling. Or you can live it in the sunshine. Right? Right? Spirit is saying the light is at the end of the tunnel. It awaits for you. Don't peek back. If you have to, keep your head down for a minute. And when you're ready, rise it up. Raise it up. Rise it up. Raise it up. And move forward. Do whatever you need to do. But it is your call. And Spirit is letting you know that. Clarify the um, judgment. Truth, clarity. When you, when you make this decision, I feel like when you make this decision, it's going to bring about such clarity for you. It's going to bring in new, new, um, new ideas, new information, uh, new communications might, uh, might open up a lot of opportunities, a lot of messaging, things like that, but it is your call. It is your call. The Knight of Swords, this is new opportunities, this is new ideas, new adventures in, in intellect or conversation. New, There we go. Thank you, Spirit. New adventures in conversation. Lit. I like that. Lit. You know, I don't know if these, I think these came out. I think I missed these. I think these came out with the burden. It's time to heal the burden. It's time to release the fight. It's time to let it go. Yeah, they came out with a burden. Um, it's time to let it go. It's time to heal this. Time to release it. Time to release it. It is your choice. You always have a choice in the matter, Sagittarius. Always. This is your life. You're the co-creator of your life. You can do whatever you want. All right. Okay, so the lesson. The lesson is how to love. Page of Cups, a brand new love affair. Brand new. You have three pages here. So there is so many new opportunities available to you whenever you're ready to take the leap. 
whenever you're ready. But the lesson is how to love. It's learn a new relationship possibly coming in, a new love offer, um, a new opportunity for love, for a relationship. This does feel very um, romantic, we'll say, um, that you left behind. So a brand new love. Laughter and humor heal. You get some of that that emotional vitality back. You get some of your zest, right? You get some of that back and you get a new love, a new opportunity at love. I love it. All right. Clarify this page of cups, please. Three pages. I would say three is um, possibly significant. Yeah, brand new opportunity. Something new is birthing. It is going, it is amazing. It's going to be very nurturing, very caring, very loving. Look at that Venus energy. We have the Empress clarifying the Page of Cups. So this opportunity, this newness coming in, this new relationship that is going to prosper from this, um, from your pain. And I know, I know, I know, I know that that prosper from my pain. Yes. This new relationship that is going to prosper and bloom from your pain, from the things you've gone through, is going to be nurturing, therapeutic, caring, loving, genuine, real. You may even have an opportunity to build a family. If you don't already have one. It's a, you know, if you do, if you don't. Could be blending families. But there's a brand new opportunity here to build and grow. Mm. that's a love affair that keeps on growing right there because the empress she keeps nurturing she keeps growing she keeps loving so that is a love coming for you Sag that is going to continue to grow all right the outcome everything you ever wanted the ability to know that you are the co-creator of your life and you can manifest anything you want and you can manifest um, love from pain you can manifest happiness from sorrow, from grief, right? So the magician coming in and having everything you ever wanted and seeing how amazing and blessed you are, how magical your life is, having that vitality come back, right? Having that vitality come back, that harmony. This is alchemy. Your life alchemizes, right? Your life, it alchemizes, it, it, it balances out, it heals, it comes into harmony. That is beautiful. I love that. Love that. Oh, and that is Mercury. Look at that. Mercury energy. So, Sag, if you're a Merc, if you're a Sag Merc, <laughs> oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me, spirit? Oh, I love this. I love this. I, I, I love this. I can't help it. Seriously, Spirit is reiterating once and for all. This is it. You have a brand new opportunity for a love affair waiting for you whenever you're ready to move forward, whenever you're ready to lift your head up. Okay? You have a brand new opportunity that is going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to grow because the Empress, she doesn't just leave you behind she waters you she nurtures you she cares for you right so it's going to continue to grow and <laughs> it's going to bring about passion right passion and love and look at this all four pages this is someone new this relationship was, is with someone you've never been with before. You're not going backwards to, you know, anybody, whether it's what you're leaving behind or um, an ex from a thousand years ago, a past love lifetime partner, whatever it is, you're not going back. You're going to be moving forward with someone brand new, someone you've never had anything to do with, and it is going to be so, 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 so charismatic, so passionate, so fiery, so loving, so, oh, magnetic. Ah, 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 ah. You have all four pages. I cannot believe this. Okay. Next, 
you have the Knight of Pentacles. Spirit reiterating that this is something that's going to continue to grow. This is the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving um, knight in all the tarot. And I'm sure you've heard that a thousand times. However, just further proof for you, Sag, to know that Spirit is saying this is going to continue to grow. It's going to grow over time. This could be, um, you know, we got this for someone else too. I can't remember. Capricorn maybe. This could be your forever person. Seriously. This relationship, whatever is coming in new for you, is going to grow over time. So it may not spark right away. It may be slow moving. The, the, the flame may be a flicker, right? But it's going to burst into something amazing, okay? This is right here. This right here is spirit confirming to you and saying, Hey, Sag, I got your back. I got your back. We are in this together. This is you and spirit working together. Spirit is saying judgment. You have a choice. Okay, wheel of fortune. We're in it together. That is spirit stepping in, turning the wheel for you. But this is spirit saying, hey, we're doing this together. I got your back. So this is backed up by something that you're destined to have, right? You're destined to have. You wrote upon it. You decided before you came into this realm that you wanted this relationship. Now, here's the thing. You are still in this realm, in this physical realm, and you have, right there, you have the judgment. You have it twice. So you have a say. So if you don't want this now, that's okay. Maybe you move on to something else. But this right here, it's going to grow and blossom for, for a long time. Your choice. Your choice. All right. Let's get you some believe in your own magic. See what else Spirit has to add. I really love this for you, Sag, and I'm really sorry that you've really gone through a lot of pain and suffering. I do really feel that. Uh, but I see brighter days for you. I see brighter days for you. However, like, um, you know, Spirit was saying it, and I was saying, it is your call. You have a choice. Look at this. We have number 18. We have number 18. That reduces to a 9. So that is the energy of the hermit. This could be about spirit saying, you know, go in, reflect, use this time, keep your head down. Keep your head down right now and utilize this time to reflect, to um, gain insight, to gain information that you may need to know moving forward. Uh, it says tree, let them go. Release them in goodwill. Release them in goodwill. Forgive them. Release them. It will set you up. It will be so much better for you, okay? So spirit is reiterating. Let them go. They're no longer for you. All right, let's get you a mindful message. Thank you, spirit. What should um, Sagittarius be mindful of as they're going through this um, stage of their life, this leg of their journey? What should they be mindful of? What advice do you have for Sag? Sagittarius, please. Advice for Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, okay, thank you. Oh, oh, one more. Okay, you got four. So the number four could be significant. They're really showing me that. That is the number of the foundation. It is also um, the fourth house energy. So Cancer rules the fourth house. I feel a strong water energy. Cancer or Scorpio, but Scorpio coming in so much stronger. Okay. All right. So first, <laughs> sunshine. Remember. Okay. So first spirit has play. I am completely engaged in what I do. In here, in the here and now, I call it, play it, instead of work. Wait a minute. Let me start over. I'm sorry. Okay. I am completely engaged in what I do in the here and now. I call it play instead of work. I am deeply fulfilled by all I do. So have some fun. Play. Spirit wants you to have fun. They want you to get out there and have some fun enjoy yourself look at this so we're saying create an um, inspiration board create you a, a visual board 
a visionary board, inspiration board. If I'm ever feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy. Those positive affirmations, you can put things on there like, I am good enough, I am happy. Right? I am happy. It's all a change in perspective, the way you see it. You don't have to be dwelling in the grief and the sorrow and the pain. You can sit there and say, you know, I, I've, I've worked on this and I've, I'm healing this and I can be happy. I can be happy with my pain. I can, you know, I can come to terms with it. I can balance my pain with my happiness. Okay. Oh my gosh. Spirit. Releasing the anger. Anger is a natural emotion, but I recognize that holding on to it can be toxic for me. I look at the person who has caused me pain and see them as a human being that, as the human being they are. I release the anger I feel and free myself, free um, and free myself, freeing myself and expanding to love. Break free. Break free from the anger. You've been holding on to this for way too long. Oh my gosh, yeah. And get out there and hang out with some friends, right? Make some friendships. Communicate with people together. I love working together with others and how it makes once impossible dreams possible. I see there is strength and unity and how much we can accomplish together. Asking for help is not weak. It's powerful can do it together ask for help if you need it if you need it if you need counseling you need anything like that go get that go help yourself Sag so that you can live the life that you're meant to live all right let's get you some charms this is going to conclude your reading Sag if you like the reading you like me you like anything about it please subscribe to the channel hit those jazzy buttons down there they all help the channel grow they help the community grow which I absolutely love and it I can't do it without you man I need you <laughs> look at this you got the contract you got the ring so walking away from those old contracts, release those contracts. Spirit is saying release those contracts. This could be about a marriage ending. I am so sorry. I really am. But this could be about a marriage and an ending. This is also reiterating a new opportunity, a new contract awaits. Put it however it fits in your life. We got the Damascus knife. This is a chef's nice knife. So I feel like spirit, when his spirit brings out this knife, I feel like spirit is saying, take care of yourself, Sag. Make sure you're taking care of your body. Eat the foods that are good for you. Feed yourself um, good nutrients, good um, fruits, vegetables, water. You know, do those kind, good things for your body. Okay, meditate too. Look at this. <laughs> you got the fairy moon. You got the fairy moon. Believe in the magic. Keep your hope alive. Keep your faith alive. Believe. There is something beautiful out there waiting for you, Sag. Just believe in it. Go after your wishes, your hopes, your dreams. Go after your happiness. Okay. You have the cross. I do feel you are at a crossroads here. You might start seeing these crosses, um, but you are at a crossroads. You're at a choice, but Spirit is with you, and that's what Spirit is saying right here. They even said it right here at the end. We got your back, Sag. We are with you. Okay, look at this. We got the bumblebee. Now, bumblebees, they always remind me of the empress because, you know, the empress, she nurtures, she cares, she... she creates beautiful things and bumblebees they go from a beautiful flower to another beautiful flower and they're pollinating and spreading their happiness spreading the nutrients spreading the joy so bumblebees could be significant for you okay and oh my gosh spirit is really saying sag talk with me i am with you i am with you universe spirit god jesus whatever it is however it is i am with you you got the jesus fish feel more water energy Pisces okay and last but not least you got the mushroom and you got the you got the little toadstool 
Now, toadstools are not good for you. So I feel like Spirit is saying, walk away from things that are no longer good for you, that don't serve you. Walk away from those things. Mushrooms could be a sign. You might start seeing them. If you do, it could be an indication that that's something not really good for you. All right. All right, Sag, I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, take great care of yourself. And as always, may love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye-bye.